In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a Blade Runner inspired image. And so we want to have this uh, future agent walking in a in a nice city, nighttime with neon signs and cars and a lot of small details. So I'll show you how to get an image like this. First of all, we need a good prompt. So I'll start writing a prompt that we want to have our Blade Runner. He's an agent. He wants we want him to walk down a street. Uh, in a future city, walking down a street in a future city. Uh, we want to have neon signs lighting up and we want to have cars. Um, and let's see, we also want to have some foggy weather and we also want to have it at night time. This last part for the nighttime, I really find that very handy. It often adds uh, some additional details to your image. So always try to put in what is the time of day. Uh, it gives a better result. So now we have the, the, the prompt down, which is, you can already see there's some result, but it's not very interesting at this point. The first thing I do is to set the background color. So when you set the background color, what you're actually controlling is often the 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 time of day uh, in the image, even though we put in nighttime, you can see it still doesn't look that much uh, as as like in the night. So you can see the darker I make the background color, the more it actually reacts and, and becomes more as a night image. And now this is where you, you want to sort of like get the atmosphere right for your image. So this would, to my taste, would be too dark. So we'll try to make something a little bit brighter maybe around here. So I want to have, I want to be able to see the neon signs, but at the same time also want some contrast in the image. So I want to have, you know, a little bit of, you know, light colors in the sky so you can get some, some depth in the image. The next thing uh, to do is to work on, I always start from the back of the image. So in, in this image, what we want to have is actually, we want to have some skyscrapers. So I'll try to pick a color that is slightly darker than the background and then I'll start drawing some, some vertical lines and then you should be able to see that the image to the right is, is, um, is drawing some buildings where I'm placing my, my lines. One trick here is um, you can see if I'm, if I'm just trying to draw some straight lines using my mouse, it, it's almost straight, but it's not completely straight. So the trick is actually you can, you can, let me just undo this. If you hold down the shift key and you draw the line, you can actually make it a completely straight line and then you can you can control where it ends and starts and then just release and then you have a straight line. So let's try to do that. So we'll add some, some straight lines and this should hopefully become some buildings in the background. So you can see already now on the image to the, to the right, there are now more, more buildings and it's reacting slightly to that. What I also want is to have, I want to have some neon signs that are sort of like going on the other direction. So we have our vertical lines, but now I also want to have some some neon signs that gives us some depth in the image. This, like the starting point is not actually not that bad, but uh, maybe I'll try to reinforce that we have these neon signs that are, that are pointing towards um, uh, the center of the image. So we can try adding some different colors just to add some, some nice details. I like to keep this image in in sort of like pink, blue, uh, purple colors. So let's try to stick to that. And maybe here in the middle, you can see right in the middle above the person, there's actually no details. And maybe we can try to trick it to draw something in the background. Yeah, so you can see now there is actually some details appearing here in the middle, which just sort of like makes the, I don't want to have like a large surface in the middle of the image where there are no details. Maybe we need some, some bright pink. There we go. So what we also want to do is we want to make sure that there's something in the background and, but also in the foreground. So what I want to have is actually, I want to see if I can get uh, some cars to show up very close to the camera. So what I'll do now is I'll try to make a sort of like a, maybe a yellow car or something appearing. So you can see here now I'm adding yellow, a block of yellow, and then it turns that into a car. And then maybe on the other side, 
we want to do the same thing, but now in this case, we want to have it as uh, maybe a red car. Let's see if we can do that. Sometimes it helps also to just give it a little bit of hint. Maybe it needs to know where there is maybe some tires and then it can recognize that you are trying to make a car. If you're not getting the result you want, you can always hit reimagine, try out a few things. So this is more like what I wanted to so have like a few cars to the side of the person to build some of the foreground and then have the person in the middle. Now, the last step here is to, to actually draw the Blade Runner. So we want him to be starting walking in the middle of the image. So I'll make a big, big dark area here, which is uh, black clothes. I want his head to be up here. So you can see now I'm getting the Blade Runner in the middle. In the foreground, we have the cars to the sides. We have the neon signs pointing towards the center of the image. And uh, let's just let's just try a few variations here. See if we can get a good looking one. We want him facing this direction. So let's try to see if we can get one where they where they also cast. So maybe actually one thing we can add is uh, maybe to add some rain also to give it a. So it, it should get, give more reflections in the streets and so on. So I like this image and the last step is to, before I export, I usually click enhance and it takes a minute and then it should be, so you can see now it has a lot of nice details on the cars and so on. And you can choose, there are a lot of new settings. We have a new, completely new panel here where you can see how the image is enhanced. There's also a few options for changing the imagination when you're enhancing or resolution and so on, but you are, should be ready to, to export also by, by just going with the default settings. So let's pick this one and then I'll just hit download and then download the image. And now I have a nice Blade Runner image made from Picasso. I had full control of the composition, the colors and so on. So I hope you find this little tutorial helpful and uh, we'll see you.